Hello, hello, it's me, the Metaverse Explorer. I'm back again to talk to you about Arbitrum week number two, Arbitrum Odyssey. Now, uh, I made the first video, Arbitrum Odyssey week one. I've got lots of uh, feedback, so you guys loved it. So I'm gonna continue and follow up through the following weeks of Arbitrum Odyssey. Now, if you forgot, let me remind you, Arbitrum Odyssey is a small experience, curated experience for you to bridge into Arbitrum, which is an Ethereum layer two, so that you can you know, experience some of the dApps and protocols that already live there. Um, and sometimes, you know, you might get an NFT here or, the, here or there. Maybe you might get a token airdrop later on. We don't know yet. But for now, we're trying to be good Web3 participants. Um, so get involved, right? Uh, this week, we have two new protocols to be uh, enjoying. The first one is Yield Protocol, which gives you uh, fixed rates on Ethereum. And the next one is a decentralized perpetual exchange called GMX. Okay, so uh, you can trade Ethereum, AVAX, you know, up to 30x leverage, which we're not, I'm not really interested in. All right, so um, first off, this is me. Thank you very much for subscribing. I've just hit about 7,600 mark on my subscribers. So thank you very much. I'm still uh, a very small YouTuber, but thanks for your support. So just like and subscribe for me. Okay, none of this is financial advice. Uh, remember, cryptocurrencies are speculative. Please be cautious. Let's get started. So week one has officially finished uh, Arbitrum uh, into Arbitrum Odyssey. So far, there's been about 5,000 or so NFTs minted, and they're actually available on the marketplaces right now. And that was the NFT you got for participating in week number one. In uh, you, in Tofu NFT, which is one of the leading NFT marketplaces, which you'll be able to experience later on, people are already trying to sell their Arbitrum NFTs, okay? They're selling it for 0.01 Ethereum. And as you can see on the top right, bottom on the bottom right here, you can see that people are actually going ahead and selling these. People are buying these for $11.95, $11.95, $9.50. So it is working at the moment. People are selling it, but I don't think there's any point in selling this, right? I, I, you own this, just keep it. It's part of your experience of experiencing Arbitrum, right? All right, let's keep going. So let's look at some analytics. From the first week, we can tell that a few things have started actually happening on Arbitrum. You, on the, on the left-hand side here, this one, that's the new users count by percentage of bridges. And you can see here, look at that, 70% we have new users coming across uh, using uh, different chains, right? And the, that one is the uh, Optimism and, um, and uh, Ethereum chains. On the top right hand corner is the ETH amount transferred to Arbitrum via blockchain. So uh, Optimism is the, is the yellow one and then, and then um, uh, Ethereum is the 70%, which is really large. Now on the bottom, we've got some statistics as well. Total each ETH transfers was 46,000 uh, Ethereum, which is, you know, uh, uh, and the, the, the highest amount who was transferred was $510. So that's not bad. That's like half an ETH at, at a go. And total transactions is 255K. So we're seeing a lot of activity in Arbitrum at the moment, okay? What are the week two requirements? This is what you need at the moment. This is for yield protocol. You have to go to Project Galaxy and look specifically what is required from you. This is it. So number one, uh, you can provide liquidity in a pool of $50 or more lend $50 or more um, to a, a maturity and then borrow uh, 100 or above of assets. You only have to do one of these to qualify, okay? And I myself, I don't want to provide liquidity because I don't want impermanent loss and there's too many uh, transactions. I don't really care for that. I don't want to borrow uh, $100 because then I'm in debt to someone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lend $50. Um, uh, I'm going to lend $50 of USDC and come back in a couple of months and collect it back. I think that's the lowest risk at the moment, right? If you provide liquidity, you're exposed to two different tokens. If you're borrowing, you're exposed to debt. If you're lending, you could get, um, I don't know, someone could run away with your cash, but it's the lowest, it's the lowest uh, risk at the moment. Now, um, on um, GMX, there's still three things as well you have to do. Remember, there's two different protocols. Number one is make a leverage trade, which is a minimum of $10. I'm not a big fan of leverage. You can be a liquidity provider on GMX, which it means you have to mint GLP and a minimum of $10. Or you can do a spot trade on uh, GMX, uh, which is a minimum of $10. Now, I'm going to be doing the spot trade number three because that is the easiest, lowest risk. I don't have to uh, do much else, right? You just do a trade. You can trade Ethereum to USDC, USDC to Ethereum, you know, $10, that's it. If Even if you want to you wanna, uh, uh, work on it, you can go to GMX first, uh, trade your Ethereum to USDC above uh, $50, maybe $60, and then go back to the um, to yield protocol and then lend that in number number two, as we said. So, you know, just, just work with both of them. All right, let's keep going. 
We're gonna make it really uh, quick for you guys here. So number one is Yield Protocol. They're a collateralized fixed rate borrowing and lending on Ethereum. Um, they've got 20,000 followers and they joined 2007. So I really wonder if there were a previous protocol before this. Um, that's, that's them on Twitter. What can you actually do? You can borrow and lend USDC and DAI at a fixed rate. Uh, they've got multiple collaterals. Uh, you can uh, protect against interest rate fluctuations, no counterparty risk. Yes, there's no counterparty risk, but there's still smart contract risk. So anyone that's getting involved, please be cautious, right? Um, let's go ahead and keep looking. This is what it looks like at the moment. You can lend USDC. And when I took this picture, it was 1.76 APR, but now it's down to like 0.5% APR. So it's very, very small, right? Uh, very small returns. So uh, like it's not a great place for you to park your capital. So that's the lending side. And then you can also go ahead and borrow that side. So you can borrow USDC at 3.16%. Of course, remember, if you want to borrow, you have to leave some collateral. Um, so at the moment, we're only going to be working on the lending side. Let's keep going. On Yield Protocol, they give you an example, very thorough example of how the thing actually works. And they also give you some audit results over here. Um, we don't have to go too much in depth into this um, because the information is all provided for you. One thing I did notice though, Yield Protocol does not currently have a governance token. Currently, most of the maintenance and development of the protocol is performed on the by the founding development team. The development team is committed to making Yield Protocol a community-owned, community-run protocol by progressive decentralization. If you'd like to help shape the future of the protocol, please get involved by joining the community. They don't have a token. There is no token yet. You get involved, you might get airdropped a token. That's it. Now, let's look at GMX. GMX is the centralized perpetual exchange. Uh, you can trade up to 30x leverage at GMX. This is what it looks like at the moment. Um, uh, GMX is decentralized spot exchange. Um, trading is supported by unique multi-asset pools. They use Chainlink as an oracle. Um, but on the right hand side here is a summary, okay? A summary of rewards and mechanics. So GMX is actually a complicated beast. There's lots of different uh, protocols inside there. Um, GMX earns ETH, AVAX, escrow, GMX, multipliers, uh, multiplier points when staked. There's escrow GMX, which earns ETH, AVAX, escrow GMX, multiplier points. And there's multiplier points, which earns ETH and AVAX. And then there's GLP, which earns ETH, AVAX, and automatically stakes on mint. So it's a bit complicated, right? This is what the interface looks like at the moment. And I'm going to blow it up and we're actually going to go and see what it looks like. So, you know, it looks like a normal trading interface. You've got uh, in theory, what, your market, your current statistics, you know, your bars. And then on the right hand side is your trading interface. So you've got, you know, your uh, um, your uh, market orders, your limit orders, you know, your uh, long information, your um, uh, um, price feeds. And then on the right hand side here, over here, that's what we're going to be using, the swap feature. OK, I love me. Very simple swap feature. Um, this is what it looks like and I will show you so you can long it on here for at least $10 you can short on here but all of these are more speculative I'm not really going to do that just as a simple introduction we're just going to be swapping okay we're going to swap maybe Ethereum to USD or USDC to Ethereum now this is Dancing Pepe I'm going to give you a little tutorial of both of these protocols so that you can with me right alongside me get um the arbitrum nft so that we can do it together okay we can be great web3 participants if you like dancing pepe please like and subscribe for me i'm very uh i'm just trying to trying to start my youtube uh going um i hope these uh, tutorials are very beneficial for you all right let's go ahead and look at arbitrum over here this is the um, this is the what do you call it? The interface for Project Galaxy. Let's look at Enter the Odyssey. We have 5,100 minted so far, and as you can see, the last video, if you did, you got the Hop Optimism Bridger. Okay, you can claim it later. We also I use a Cross Bridger as well, and I also use Hashflow. Let's go ahead and go back here. These are the two. This is for um, the 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 yield protocol NFT. And all you got to do is click on this one and it gives you your criteria, what you have to do. OK, so over here, I'm going to go to the yield optimizer for Odyssey Achiever on number two. I'm going to zoom in so you can see. Listen here, it says lend $50 or more um, worth of assets to any maturity series. So going back. That's the yield protocol. This is GMX. Click on this one again. And then it says here, do a spot swap on GMX via GMX trade, a minimum of $10. 
So let's make it easy for ourselves, right? Let's go and swap some Ethereum to USDC. Okay, uh, let's go $60 of uh, Ethereum to USDC. And then we're gonna go back to um, Yield Protocol and lend that uh, 50 or $60 so that we can tick both of them off very easily. All right, let's do it. So uh, do a spot trade on GMX. You click on this, let's go there. Connect your wallet on the top right hand side corner. I'm already connected. Now let's go and do a swap. I'm gonna go 0.1 ETH, which is $100. 0.1 ETH, no, let's go 0.05, which is $59, very good. I'm gonna swap that to USDC. They do take a whole bunch of fees, okay? You should know. They have 0.47% fee, which is 28 cents just for the fee. Transaction cost is separate. Okay, let's swap this at the moment. I'm gonna get 59.6 USDC. Thank you very much. Wait for that to come up and let's confirm that transaction. And very soon that transaction has gone through now. So I'm very happy with that. Awesome. Now, that has now qualified you for this airdrop. Okay, this airdrop of NFTs. Let's go back. That's a GMX. Do a spot trade of GMX, a spot swap, which is what we just did. A spot swap over there on the market. Okay. Um, via the trade function. Minimum of $10 worth of assets. We've done that. We use $50, $59. Now, Let's go back to the uh, to yield protocol and let's go to this. And let's look here, lend $50 or above worth of assets via lend protocol. This is lend protocol. You can already sign in on the top right hand corner. Um, click on this. For me, it has to be dark theme. Dark theme absolutely as a default. Now, let's go ahead and look at the on the top. You have borrow lend pool dashboard. I'm not interested in any of these. Uh, you can, I've gone through already, but for the purposes of this video, we're just going to be uh, doing what, what's required. So lend, how much do we have to lend? $50. I'm gonna go here and click $60. And I'm gonna select this maturity zero, uh, October 1st. So make sure you remember that and come back on October 1st and uh, just come and collect your, your um, deposited amounts. Let's review the transaction. Amount to lend, $60, maturity. 1st of October 2022, uh, redeemable at maturity, $60.09 because the APR, APY is 0.61, very, very measly. Let's go ahead and um, lend this. First off, you might have to sign a transaction to say like, this is my wallet, sign. And now wait till to actually send the transaction to say, yes, I want to lend this. Now, the fee for this is 0.001. I'm just gonna pull up a calculator, pull up a calculator. 0.0015 and ethereum at the moment is about a thousand dollars give or take one of one and a half dollars i'm i'm happy with this because uh you know i'm participating in the ethereum ecosystem and uh, uh, layer two so i'm super happy to pay a dollar fifty to, to try and get this now i'm lending sixty dollars now and that should be it you know you should be able to get this uh, airdrop transaction confirmed now let's just wait we can go to ethereum we can go to the Etherscan and view your transaction there. And it's amazing that it turns up here so that you can see. Very nice, slick UI for the, from these guys. So that's it. Um, now, there's your information. We can redeem later when it's available. And that should really um, make you applicable and make you uh, uh, let you claim some of these NFTs. All right. That's it for now, guys. So. I hope this has been helpful for you. Thank you very much. I got great feedback from the first uh, video. This is video number two in Arbitrum Odyssey. So um, make sure you participate, get on board. It doesn't cost much. You've already got some Ethereum lying around. Bridge it to, Ethereum, bridge it to layer two and just come experience it. Thank you very much. This has been Metaverse Explorer, Arbitrum Odyssey week number two. Um, I'll keep doing videos for Arbitrum Odyssey, of course, because uh, people loved it. Thank you very much. Ciao for now.